satellite's view of the ground. Now first things first, we'll hit the waves. No, we ain't surfing, it's radiation waves. From the scale, electromagnetic. HC over lambda, arithmetic. No, it ain't, alphabetic. It all equals Q, energetic. If you don't get that, you're pathetic. The H is for the constant of a man named Planck. I tried to wrap it out, but I drew a blank. The C is just the speed of light, and lambda is wavelength, is that all right? Before we move on, I have three equations, just for y'all's edification. Lamb times V equals C. C over lamb equals V. C over V equals lamb. Try to get those memorized if you can. I once knew some pimps, SB and Beam. They're not as complicated as they seem. SB had energy because he was so hot, constant T to the four, if you forgot. Now Beans is a little bit harder to see. Lamb max equals small k over T. You can't find the K on a box of cereal. 2898 micrometers of Kelvin material. The peak of the wavelength distribution equals the temperature's inverse proportion. That's it for beans. Now on to absorption. The atmosphere collects the sun's rays and sends emittance back as heat on longer waves. Reflectance, how can I begin to say? It's basically remote sensing's favorite way to detect radiation. Comprend day. Albedo has something to do with all of this. Reflectance of a surface, not hard to get. Radiation is reflected at many an angle. The waves in line with the sensors are all it can handle. Non-selective, Rayleigh, and me are all a part of the scattering family. EM energy is absorbed and re-emitted. No change in wavelength is transmitted. Non-selective is true to its name. It scatters every wavelength. It doesn't play games. Rayleigh needs molecules to be many times smaller than the wavelengths it scatters. What a baller. And those are mostly ultraviolet. Holler. Me's routine is between the other two. It loves equality and so should you. The particles and wavelengths should be about the same. The dustier, the redder, you could claim. Let's take a minute to go back to fundamentals. This is so obvious, but I'll be gentle. Everything has its own reflectance characteristic. Radiation varies with wavelength, it's just realistic. We use three colors, red, green, and blue, to make a composite you could use. You assign the colors to the band, depending on your current demands. Our 3 g 2 and one to blue makes a composite of color that's true. 4, 3, 2, and 5, 4, 3 go by the same name. False color infrared is their aim. Respectively, red and green they became. The satellites spin around the globe. From north to south, the Earth they probe. Landsat patterns unsynchronous. 14 orbits a day. That's ridiculous. Here's some words that I've defined to pass the test and open your mind. GCPs are Earth's surface locations that can be found on maps and imagery if it were your inclination. And now as for convolution filtering, it's weighted neighbor, pixel value 18. RME error is in the registration. Should be less than half of the image resolution. An image's texture isn't tough. Low spatial frequency is smooth. High makes it rough. Image to map of GPS cords is rectification. Image to image is registration. Both are a part of georeferencing, just spatial error correcting. Quasi-continuous fields we won't forbid. You can find them on a quantized grid. That's it for this rap. It ain't the whole guide. But tell me it helped or else it hurt my pride. Go waste your test. You have no excuses. MCGO out. Deuces.